Okay, Super Mozine Part 2. I'm going to try and do this with a talk over or a voice over. Um, this is the part of the climb up to the tree line to then allow me to jump across the valley. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're just trying to get round the, uh, the point on the corner um, as it's not the most exciting part of the video. I'll just fast forward it two times. I am watching the tandem off to my right, the red wing seeing if they get anything of substance but I'm hoping these roads will produce still only about 10.45 a.m. I've been just come off the cliffs okay so this is part two literally what I'm going to do now is keep pushing around trying to hold as much height as I can as I haven't flown this area before I'm very conscious of not being able to get a, an out back into the bottom of the valley so for instance if I'd have gone and flown over that little bit of blue lake in that car park the land to my left actually rises, it's difficult to see on the video, and I would have been stuck, and then obviously then stuck in with this cable car as well. So I'm constantly being probably overprotective of my height, but as it's a new area, very early in, very early in the morning, the last thing I need is to be uh, in serious sink and into trees. So now, I'm coming around and I can see that big open area out front, which I'm presuming um, again is holding heat and releasing but also what I like to do is there's um, the fire brakes I always find fire brakes work really well for me so this one here coming at a, a sort of a weaker ankle does keep giving me little bleeds but nothing really worth turning into um, but there is a fire break that goes from the bottom of the valley up and you can just start seeing it appear now in the middle of the, uh, the wooded area and that's the one I'm going to concentrate on So a little bit there, but again, I still want to just push forward, and I'm just really trying to explore this. And my main aim, other than the fire break, is this grass area in front. Again, and the way I think about that is heat's on the grass, it heats it up, comes up against the trees, and then has to release over the trees. <laughs> So a little bit of a different angle, um, just so you can see over my shoulder. It makes me look as if I'm higher, but I'm not. I'm still playing around on that grass area. And still getting the odd little bleeps, and I'm sort of maintaining height. And due to maintaining height, I don't particularly want to go anywhere at this moment in time, because I do think those bleeps eventually will release and give me a, a better climb. So I'm using this grass area, and then Throughout the video I keep going back to the fire break that I mentioned earlier um, and just squeezing out these little bits of, of lift. Okay, I'm not doing 360s at the moment, I'm more into the, uh, the sort of figure of eights. Again, there's the fire break I talked about. Okay, so, and you can see there there's definitely something going on around that fire break area. So remembering rightly, I persevere around this area for a good 10-15 minutes and eventually it does pay off, um, which is a fantastic sort of a 0 0.7, 0 0.9 climb up to the ridge line, which allows me to jump onto the mountain in the background, and you'll see that on part three. But um, I'm just working here of just not giving up on these really small climbs. I have a tendency normally just to move on because of impatience. Um, which, like I say, that's that's it's a weakness I'm trying to trying to conquer. So it's the hill in the background now to the right. In fact, we might see on the next figure of eight. That's what I'm trying to do. But there's a huge valley in between us. And you can see I keep catching a little bit of lift there. And again, back over the top of that fire break. Figure of eights again, not enough for a 360 yet. So at this point here, I feel as if I've lost the thermal again. So I'm like, okay, what do I do? So I just open the uh, the circle up, start searching again, just for those odd beeps. And um, in a way, I'm crossing my fingers that it hasn't gone past me, and I've missed it. But there, yeah, you can see I'm back into it. And just tickling it again and again, fire break below me.
just starting to get better now. I think we're somewhere like 0.8 here to ones. Um, but you can see in a minute. There we are. We're above ones now. I've got that higher tone on the Vario. And it's definitely starting to release something. So now I've got a good climb. All I need to do is just follow this. Work out how fast or how slow it is going up this hill, and then get to the top of the ridge line to jump onto the mountain in the background. As you can see, it's not doing anything strong, it's just real mellow. Definitely the strongest part of the thermal there. And again, just push out, and you can see there I've lost it again, and then regained it. So, just jump forward slightly. It looks like we're higher than we are, but that's just the way I put the GoPro. We're, uh, we're about 450, 500 foot above where we was. Um, and again, just really milking this real sort of soft thermal, less than one meters a second. But it's doing its job. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just keeping, trying to keep as much lift as I can within the 360 now. But you can see that it's minimal, minimal turn um, and trying to keep that wing as flat and e economical as possible. And again, bringing it round and we talked about impatience before, I'm starting to get impatient because I'm not really gaining that much. I'm holding my height but I'm not gaining that much. So at this point, I'm starting to think maybe I need to do this crossing. Um, and again, when we do come on to looking at the, uh, the crossing of the valley, I'm trying to get onto the mountain above the tree height. Because again, it's somewhere I've never been and I know that the, uh, the lift will be a lot better above the tree line and you can see the mountain there in the distance. So um, yeah, look forward to part three and hopefully we can get across onto the uh, tree line in the distance.